Meet Toyin Abraham, Nollywood star, a name that resonates with millions of fans across Nigeria and beyond. Toyin Abraham is a household name in Nigeria. Her journey from humble beginnings to stardom is truly inspiring. She is a famous actress who has starred in many Nollywood movies. Her versatility in acting has earned her numerous awards and accolades. She is known for her talent and her ability to make people laugh. Her comedic timing and infectious energy light up the screen. Toyin is a role model to many young Nigerians. Her story of perseverance and hard work serves as a beacon of hope. She is seen as someone who has worked hard to achieve her dreams. Her dedication to her craft is evident in every role she plays. She's not afraid to speak her mind, even on controversial issues. Her courage to address societal problems has earned her respect. Toyin is a wife and a mother. Balancing her career and family life, she exemplifies the modern woman. She's married to Kolowole Ajiemi, who is also an actor. Their relationship is admired by many. They have a son together. Their family moments are cherished by fans. Toyin is very close to her family and often shares pictures of them on social media. Her posts reflect the love and bond they share, making her relatable to her audience. Recently, Toyin Abraham found herself in the news for a different reason. She had a run-in with a Twitter troll. This troll had been sending Toyin hurtful messages. The messages were personal and very mean. Toyin decided enough was enough. She took action and had the troll arrested. This shocked many people. They wondered why Toyin would go to such lengths. The troll's messages were not just mean comments. They were full of lies about Toyin and her family. The troll even threatened Toyin's son. This was unacceptable to Toyin. She decided to use her platform to send a message. This wasn't the first time Toy and Abraham faced online bullying. The internet can be a harsh place, especially for public figures who are vocal about their beliefs. She has been targeted before, especially during elections. During these times, emotions run high and people often lash out at those who hold opposing views. Toyin is not afraid to share her political views. She believes in using her platform to advocate for what she thinks is right, regardless of the backlash. This has made her a target for trolls who support different candidates. These trolls often hide behind anonymous profiles, making it easier for them to spew hate without facing any real consequences. The trolls attack Toyin for her choices, often using harsh and unkind words. They question her intelligence, her integrity, and even her right to have an opinion. They insult her and her family, dragging her loved ones into the fray. The comments can be deeply personal and hurtful, affecting not just Toyin, but those close to her as well. They even try to discourage her fans from watching her movies. By spreading false information and negative reviews, they aim to tarnish her professional reputation. This is a common problem for celebrities who share their political opinions. Many public figures face similar attacks, making it a widespread issue in the age of social media. Toyin has tried to ignore the trolls in the past. She focuses on her work and her supporters, trying to rise above the negativity. She knows that not everyone will agree with her. In a democracy, diverse opinions are essential, and she respects that, but sometimes the bullying becomes too much. The constant barrage of negativity can be overwhelming, even for someone as strong as Toyin. It starts to affect her mental health and her family. The stress and anxiety from the online attacks can take a toll, making it difficult to focus on her career and personal life. Soon, these people were paid money to bully me, to ruin my career down, to ruin my life down. I have not committed any crime. The only crime I have committed is exercising my right. So me obey my fear is gone. Be why I am ready to die. I, you guys have pushed me. I let me go for a coup. But before I die, I will make sure that everybody that bullied me, everybody that defend me, me or neither. So I'm ready. I am so ready. I did not do anything. I, nobody came to call me out for doing anything. I have never done anything. I've been nice to people. I've been a good citizen. The only crime I committed in my life right now is that I supported another person. And you guys wanted me to support another person. That's the thing. I'm trying to down on my motive for God, oh, sorry, sorry, me, Omo, me, Omo. What else do you guys want? Nobody has ever called me out to say, Oba I didn't even arrest the guy, uh, the guy's mother. I won't do anything like that. I reported to this Molosel Dolopa, more competition. They took me to cybercrime. I put out the number. My number is a mess. 
if you see the threats, someone said that if I come to Enugu, they will kill me. If I come to, to work, at Destiny, Destiny Tiko invited me to location. I told Destiny I could not come because I was scared. What did I do? Thank you, guys. Toyin Abraham's decision to arrest the troll was a difficult one. She knew it would generate a lot of attention, but she felt it was important to take a stand against cyberbullying. Toyin had reported the troll to Twitter before, but the abuse continued. She felt that the platform was not doing enough to protect her. She wanted to show that words have consequences. Toyin also wanted to send a message to other victims of cyberbullying. She wanted them to know that they are not alone. It is okay to speak out and seek help. Sometimes legal action is necessary to stop the abuse. Divided opinions, public reactions to the arrest. As expected, the arrest of the Twitter troll caused a lot of controversy. Some people praised Toyin Abraham for taking a stand. They said she was right to defend herself and her family. Others criticized Toyin for overreacting. They said that she should have ignored the troll or blocked him. They argued that arresting him was an abuse of power. The incident sparked a debate about cyberbullying in Nigeria. People discussed the limits of free speech. They also talked about the responsibility of social media platforms to protect their users. Toyin's response, a message to fans and critics. After the arrest, Toyin Abraham addressed the controversy. She explained her decision in a heartfelt message to her fans. She said that she was not trying to silence anyone. Toyin emphasized that her priority was the safety and well-being of her family. She said that she would not tolerate anyone threatening them. She also thanked her fans for their support. Toyin acknowledged the criticism but stood by her decision. She said that she hoped the incident would encourage more people to speak out against cyberbullying. She wanted everyone to be kinder to each other online. The price of fame, navigating online bullying as a family. The incident highlighted the challenges that celebrities face in the age of social media. Toy and Abraham's story is not unique. Many celebrities are subjected to online abuse. It is difficult to be constantly in the public eye. Every word you say can be scrutinized and criticized. It is even harder when the criticism turns into personal attacks and threats. Toyin's husband, Kolobole Ajayemi, has also been affected by the trolling. He has spoken out about the pain that it causes their family. He has called for more understanding and empathy from the public. Toyin's advocacy for a safer internet. Toyin Abraham, a renowned actress and public figure, has taken a strong stand in advocating for a safer internet. Her efforts are not just limited to speeches, but extend to active participation in various campaigns and events. Toyin Abraham's personal experiences with online harassment and cyberbullying have fueled her passion for this cause. She has become a vocal advocate, sharing her journey and the challenges she has faced to inspire others to join the fight for a safer digital space. She has called for social media companies to do more to combat cyberbullying. Toyin believes that these platforms have a significant responsibility to protect their users and should implement more robust measures to prevent online abuse. Toyin believes that platforms need to be held accountable for the content that is shared on their sites. She argues that without accountability, harmful content will continue to proliferate, affecting countless individuals. She wants them to implement stricter policies to protect users from harassment and abuse. Toyin has been vocal about the need for clear guidelines and swift action against those who violate these policies. Toyin has also spoken out against the culture of online toxicity. She believes that the internet should be a place where people can connect and share ideas without fear of being attacked or belittled. She has urged her fans to think twice before posting something hurtful. Toyin often reminds her followers that their words have power and that they should use that power responsibly. She believes that everyone has a role to play in making the internet a safer and more positive space. By promoting kindness and understanding, Toyin hopes to create a digital environment where everyone feels safe and respected. Conclusion, standing tall in the face of cyberbullying, Toyin Abraham's decision to arrest a Twitter troll was a bold one. It sparked a national conversation about cyberbullying and the limits of free speech. Her actions have inspired many people to speak out against online harassment. 
Toyin's story reminds us that words have power. They can hurt and they can heal. We all have a responsibility to use our words wisely, especially online. By speaking out against cyberbullying, we can create a safer and more respectful online environment for everyone.